Apple Notes is the best free note taking app for Apple users today and with iOS 18.2 Apple Notes is getting significantly better with a ton of new features that I'm loving so far. In this video I'll go over all those amazing features in Apple Notes that came in iOS 18.2. There are some features which use Apple intelligence and I'll show you how I use them to improve my productivity. Now let's start with the first feature which I have started to use pretty extensively and that is live audio recording directly to Notes app. You might have seen the voice memo app to record audio and memos but now you can do all that directly in the Apple Notes app. To do this just tap on the attach symbol and select record audio. Now you can start recording audios, memos and anything you want to save to your notes. The best part you can even live transcribe the audio as you are speaking. It works flawlessly. Once you're done with the recording it will be automatically attached to notes along with the full transcript and since the audio is transcribed automatically as well you can search with text in your notes like how you normally would and your audio notes will show up in the search results i used to use google docs to create scripts for my youtube video it takes a lot of time to type out the whole script but now i use the apple notes to record as i speak and the notes app will transcribe the whole thing live as i speak it has saved me so much time and it replaces some paid transcribing apps for this free one. This feature does not require Apple intelligence, so don't worry if you're not on the latest iPhone model. Okay, next up, this is related to audio recording as well. Now you can record your phone calls natively on iPhones. We used to use third party apps for this before, but finally it's coming natively to iPhones. But how is this an Apple Notes feature? because the call recordings are going to be stored automatically in Apple Notes for you with transcriptions. Let me show you how it works. When you're on a call with someone, you should see this new call recording icon at the top left. Once you tap on it, you should see this option to record the call. When you start the recording, there will be an audio message to let the participant know that the call is being recorded. Once you end the call, the audio recording will be stored as a new note in Apple Notes. And again, the best part, it's automatically transcribed so it's searchable too. Try it out. One of the best features of other note-taking apps have been the ability to format your notes and text in a much nicer way. With iOS 18.2, Apple Notes is finally getting text formatting options. When you select a text or a sentence, you can highlight and change the color in the formatting section. With this addition, you can change size, formatting color, indentation and callouts in Apple Notes. Let me be honest, this is still not the kind of text customization some note-taking apps like Notion and OneNote gifts, but it's still getting there. One more neat organization feature coming to Apple Notes is collapsible sections. If you have different sections in your notes, iOS 18 lets you collapse them for easy organization and viewing. And it's all automated. As long as you have already differentiated the text using headings and subheadings, Apple Notes will let you collapse that section. Check this out. I'm going to format this subtitle as a subheading. As soon as I do that, I can immediately see a carrot or an arrow before it. This means it's a collapsible subsection. When I tap on it, the whole section collapses neatly. My notes have gotten much cleaner after this feature. Okay, one more feature without requiring Apple intelligence. You may think that this needs Apple intelligence, but it does not. And this is Math Notes. It was pretty finicky before, but with iOS 18.2, it works really well. Check this out. I'm creating a new note, selecting the markup icon and using the pen. I'm writing some basic math questions. As soon as I complete, Apple Notes automatically suggests solving it. And when I tap on it, it has computed and written down the answers so neatly. It even wrote in a similar handwriting as mine. I know this is basic math, but I can do this the old fashioned way as well. I write numbers one below the other and when I draw a line below it, Apple Notes automatically solves it for me. I tried unit conversions like from miles to kilometers and even complex math calculations with square roots, exponentials, graphs and it solved it pretty quickly. I can see this being of incredible value for students. Now let's see what Apple Intelligence is bringing to Apple Notes, shall we? Keep in mind, these Apple Intelligence based features in Apple Notes are coming only to iPhone 15 Pro, iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Pro models. 
first AI based Apple Note feature making my handwriting pretty. I do use my iPhone as well as my iPad to take notes. I also know a lot of students extensively use Apple Notes with Apple Pencil to take notes. In iOS 18, you can easily make your handwritten notes much more cleaner and legible. Here I'm handwriting a sentence. It's not the best looking and it's all over the place. What I can do with Apple Notes now is I can long press to select the sentence. Now I get an option here to refine the text. Tapping this will automatically make my handwritten note much more cleaner and refined. Neat, right? I can again long press the sentence and this time I tap on straighten. Now it's all in a straight line, pretty and legible. This is a huge saving grace for handwritten note takers. Next, image generation in notes. This again uses Apple intelligence extensively. There are two features, first generating an image from your text and second generating an image from your own rough sketch. Let's start with the first one. I have a section of text describing something. I select the whole text and tap on add to image playground. Apple intelligence has automatically generated an image based on the description here. Keep in mind, I was describing the Eiffel Tower, but I did not specify Eiffel Tower anywhere. Apple intelligence understood and gave me an accurate image. I'm actually impressed. This is also fully processed on device, so it's also quicker and safer. For the second part, I'm drawing a rough sketch using the markup tool. Now there is another option in the markup section called the image wand, which looks like this. I use this and circle over my rough sketch. Apple intelligence will understand my sketch and create a wonderful drawing straight into its place. I tried various different sketches and for most part, Apple intelligence got it right. This will again be a valuable feature for students and note takers. Next, writing tools. I think this is the best use of Apple intelligence in a note taking app. I'll show it to you directly in action. When you're in a note app, you should see this Apple intelligence symbol on the toolbar. When you tap on it, you will see the writing tool section. Basically, there are three subsections here. First, you can select the text and describe Apple intelligence for any changes you want to do. This is more free form. I can ask to summarize it, elaborate on it, change the tone, write in a different perspective, etc. More customized. The next section is a predefined changes you might want to do to your note. Do you want to proofread or do you want to just get the key notes? Change the note into a table or a bulleted list. There are some predefined options here and tapping on it will rewrite your selected text. If these options are not good enough or you want to write something from scratch, then comes the big guy ChatGPT. This is the third section. When you tap compose, you are basically asking ChatGPT to generate notes for you based on your description. You can either share your pre-selected note for reference and then describe your change or simply share the whole note for ChatGPT reference. There is even an option to attach a file or an image for ChatGPT reference to create a note for you. Again, works flawlessly. The writing tools are one of my most used feature as well with the new iOS 18, Apple intelligence and ChatGPT integration. That's everything for this video. Speaking of ChatGPT integration with Siri, there are a ton of ways you can supercharge your Siri on iPhones using the new ChatGPT. That video is coming out very soon. So subscribe to not miss out on that when it drops. Also like this video if you found this useful. I'll see you all in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.